Hello everyone, my name is Hannah Locke. I am a dancer, instructor, and the publicity assistant here at Manassas Ballet Theater. I'm joined today with Julianne Russell and Danny Moya, both dancers here at MBT. Um, they both have exciting stories about their career and they will also be telling us a little bit about our upcoming production of Giselle. Um, I'll tell you details about that here in a little bit, but for now we're gonna get started. Tell us a little bit about yourselves and how you heard about Manassas Ballet. Um, well, I'm Julianne Russell. I've been uh, with Manassas Ballet since 2012. I had been dancing in Annapolis, Maryland, and I was ready to make a change. And I actually had friends who had already gone from Annapolis to Manassas Ballet Theater, and they told me about the beautiful Hilton Theater and that, you know, Manassas does a full-length classical ballet every spring and those were things I was really interested in. So I auditioned and I just immediately found my home and I've been here ever since. Great. How about you, Danny? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm originally from Mexico and I moved to the States uh, 11 years ago, uh, training for my dance career uh, where it officially began with Pittsburgh Ballet Theater until I moved to Virginia. And then I heard about Manassas Ballet, so I wanted to be part of a company that defied all odds and continued to dance through the pandemic. Very great. So Danny is here with us new for this production. Um, this will be her first one. Uh, we are glad to have you. Um, so Julie Ann, can you tell us some memorable, memorable moments about your career here at Manassas? Ah, uh, there are so many. Um, I think one would be um, Swan Lake. I did the Four Little Swans, and we were all four of us were just really committed to dancing as one. And it just on stage, it really felt like we were one dancer together. So that was really memorable for me. Um, also, the California tour we took my first season. Um, we were such a small group, um, and we just had a lot, a, a lot of fun together and a lot of fun sharing out in California. Um, so that was really memorable to me as well. And I think just every time that all of my friends and I have gotten to have fun on stage and every character that I've gotten to bring to life. Very good. All right, so Danny, since this is your first season, can you tell us a little bit about the audition process for a company in general or, and then leading into how you audition for Manassas Ballet? Of course. So when you're younger, you start uh, checking um, companies that you want to audition for. And they usually have a big audition at a certain place and a certain time. And as I've grown older, I've decided to just send my materials. So you send a video, you send your resume and headshot and pick dance pictures so that they can see you and they see if you are fit to possibly join their company. So they invite you to a company class. So that's what I did to Manassas. I sent my information and they invited me to take company class and they saw me dancing with them and saw that I was a good fit. And here I am. <laughs> All right, good. So Julianne, you will be dancing the lead role of Giselle in our upcoming production. Can you first tell us a little bit about the story of Giselle? So Giselle is a young peasant girl um, who loves to dance, but she has a weak heart and she falls in love with Albrecht, who she believes is also a peasant, but um, she later finds out that he is actually a duke and he is engaged to someone else. Um, so she goes completely mad and she dies of a broken heart. Then in act two, um, she's summoned by the Willies, who are the ghosts of scorned women who um, died before their wedding day and they force any men that cross their path to dance to their death. So when Albrecht comes um, in remorsefulness for what happened, um, they try to make him dance to his death and she, Giselle forgives him and she tries to protect him and um, save him, which in the end happens. So this is a very challenging role just all around. How are you preparing yourself mentally and physically? Um, so mentally, I, I watched a lot of different versions um, and a lot of different dancers doing the role so I could see how different people portrayed it and I could take little things that I liked and then just really put together my own 
dialogue that I have running in my head so that it comes through me. Um, and then physically, I just I try to start slow and do like little sections slow and then run little sections and then run the act and then run the whole ballet just to kind of build on that. And then I also, um, I try to use the elliptical a couple times a week just to, so that my stamina is ready for when I'm go to run things. Yeah, yeah this is a very uh, physically active ballet. <laughs> We all need a lot of stamina for this one. Yes. All right. So what then is your favorite part about this role? Um, I think all of the layered um, acting throughout it. She goes through so many different emotions while still doing very challenging dancing. Um, and it's really pushed me both mentally and physically trying to do both at the same time. And it's, it's a roller coaster, so each time it takes a lot. Yeah. Good. So, Danny, um, you will be dancing as a friend of Giselle, as well as a Willie in Act Two. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the Willies, who they are, um, how it is dancing with a big court of ballet? Yeah, so um, the Willies are the spirits of the maidens that have been betrayed, that have died because they've been betrayed by their loved ones. So it's very challenging to try to portray this um, spirit-like ethereal um, movement. I said that wrong. This spirit-like uh, feeling with 18 dancers feeling that we're one at the same time. So it's very stamina challenging as well, but it's very fun. You try to um, just be one with the music and try to just float around. And so what is your favorite part about being a Willie? My favorite part, um, I would say just feeling like we're one with the music. Yes, it yeah. is, it's very beautiful music. This whole ballet has a wonderful score. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy dancing to it myself as well. <laughs> Julianne, as much as we love you, you will be leaving us as a dancer moving into next season as you retire from ballet. Um, so, how are you feeling about that? Um, it's a lot of mixed emotions and it's definitely bittersweet. Um, you know, on one hand, I'm excited for my next chapter, but at the same time, I've spent 26 years with ballet being my main focus in life and it's a huge part of who I am as a person, so it's definitely difficult and a little confusing to take a step back from that, but I'll always be a ballerina at heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like dance is something that never really leaves you. No. Yeah. So what are your next steps? So I definitely am going to stay close to the dance world um, and still teach, and I'm going to still teach at Manassas Ballet Academy once a week. Um, and then I've been I'm going to get into costuming, so I've been helping here for a couple years, um, so I'm looking forward to kind of stepping into a little bit of a bigger role with that, um, doing some costuming here and other elsewhere as well. Um, and then, also dance related, <laughs> I, um, I've been working on my personal training certification and I would like to use that to help dancers with like cross training and injury like prevention and rehab um, as well. And that's so important, especially for young dancers growing up. Um, just, it's a very physically demanding career, um, so it's good to have. Yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Well, we will certainly miss you as a dancer, but I'm very excited that you will be around. Yes, definitely still part of the Manassas Ballet family. Good. And Danny, so this is your first production with MBT, very first one. So what Correct. has been your favorite part or what have you enjoyed most about your experience with this production? Well, it's been a very pleasant experience. Everyone in the company has been very friendly, and I felt like I fit in right since the moment of my audition. They were like, oh, here you are. <laughs> so uh, I love getting feedback in my dancing to keep improving, and it's just being very welcoming. So I, I feel like I'm part of the family already. We have certainly enjoyed having you with us. So will the audience be able to look for you next season? Of course! Yay! 
So yes, I'll be dancing with Vanessa Taylor Theater next season. So. Yay. <laughs> Very good. Um, dancers, it has been a joy talking to you today. Um, and I know our audience has probably enjoyed it as well. Um, thank you all for turning, tuning in. Uh, we have a very exciting production that will be available to stream through Vimeo starting Saturday, May 29th at 7.30 p.m. The information is on our website, www.manassasballet.org. If you'd like more information, please contact us, 703-257-1811, or shoot us an email, info at manassasballet.org. We hope that you enjoy the production and you can watch it over and over and over for 30 days. Uh, thank you so much. And thank, thank you, Danny you. and Julianne. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.